and this is your Governor News for Friday, December 13th. Let's check in with our governors in the mansion. Banquet will be Monday, December 16th at 7 p.m. at the cafeteria. Also, football weights is Monday through Thursday, 3.30 through 5.30 p.m. Hey, Govs, the junior class will be having a meeting on Wednesday, December 18th to begin planning for prom 2020. If you are interested in having a say in this year's prom, stop by Mrs. Zimmer's room in room 222 after both 7th and 8th hours interested in being a part of a brand new musical never performed by a high school then sign up outside the Happy Commons to audition for Girlhood the Musical. The auditions will open for all Morton and Happy students both women and men and will be on Wednesday the 18th and Thursday the 19th. Information on what to prepare is posted next to the sign up sheet. If you have any questions please see Ms. Broussard or Ms. Pruitt. Come join us this Friday December 13, 2019 for Bible Club in room 232 at 2:40 p.m calling all singers, dancers, actors, and poets. If you would like to participate in the Black History Month program in February, please join us on Thursday, December 19th in room 132 at 3.30 p.m. If you are not able to attend this meeting, stop by room 132 to sign up to perform or participate. All are welcome. Attention seniors, make sure to log on to Google Classroom. Code is 10J881. This is the cash roll on which shirt designed for the senior class shirt. Deadline is December 13th. Also, we are still running the fruit snack fundraiser. More will be delivered this week and a reminder will be sent out. Quick meeting on Thursday after 7th and 8th hour in room 159. Thank you to everyone that wrote nominations for student of the month and staff of the month. The governor character focus for November was responsibility. Responsibility is defined as the ability to act independently and make good decisions without the need of someone else telling you to. First, let's start with the students of the month for November. The ninth grade student of the month is Valerie Jimenez. Mr. Wayne Aruski, Valerie's chemistry teacher, nominated her because Valerie is a pleasure to have in her class. She shows that she is a responsible student by being prepared and on time for class every day. She is attentive and participates in discussions. She also understands that it is her responsibility to make sure that he understands the material and therefore asks questions when she needs clarification. She is a good example for other students. The 10th grade student of the month is Gabe Coleman. According to Ms. Herring, Gabe is a very responsible student. He always brings back any documents we send home for parent signatures the following day. He is never late for class. He immediately engages in his work when class begins, and he stays on task until it is completed. He is a great role model for the other students in our classroom. He also displays great manners and social skills and is always willing to help. The 11th grade student of the month is Abdul Ahmed. Mrs. Cox, his psychology teacher, nom nominated Abdul because he works extra hard to improve his grade, always asks to redo assignments and tests for a better score, and being proactive in describing his difficulty with learning English and psychology at the same time. He is a strong advocate for himself. The 12th grade student of the month is Eduardo Gallego. The South teacher, Mr. Kessler, wrote, Eduardo is a perfect example of how high school student athlete is expected to be. He does an excellent job of balancing out his responsibilities of being an excellent student, a two-sport athlete, and a quality individual. More student athletes should strive to be more like him, and coaches should strive to push their athletes to be as responsible as he is. Now on to our staff members of the month for November. Mrs. M's students have wonderful things to say about her. According to one of her students, Roberto Cuellos, she is a very respectful and really cares about her students and she's, very, she's a very chill teacher. Paris Hewlett added that Mrs. M is hardworking and driven to make her students perform at their highest level. Way to go, Ms. M. Mrs. Summer is November staff of the month because according to Rihanna Johnson, she is a good teacher, especially when she teaches she makes sure we understand what she's teaching us. She's a fun and joy joyful teacher. Congratulations to our students and staff of the month for November. We are glad you are part of the governor's family. Hey Govs, our next school-wide dress-up theme is ugly holiday sweaters. Find the worst holiday sweater you can and wear it on Wednesday, December 18th. All students and staff are invited to participate. Here are your lunch options for today.